Today, wind is the big story here in Boca. We've got debris scattered pretty much all throughout the city, and we were driving here on this street and noticed this tarp down. Uh, this is kind of a similar story all over South Florida today. I spoke with a property owner who owns properties all over the area, and he's dealing with several downed trees. This is our backyard this morning. Big tree fell. It's on the wires right here. This is how Boca Raton property owner Marshall Sklar woke up Thursday morning, receiving this video from one of his tenants. This is like the worst storm we've probably seen here in 20 years. Yeah. Is this the worst damage you've had in 20 years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the last time we had damage was about 2005. Luckily, he's covered through his insurance, but he learned something important just before the storm rolled in. I actually got a cancellation of the policy on the house where this happened yesterday because I didn't have flood insurance. So just this morning, I signed up for flood insurance. And Marshall's not alone. Homeowners insurance covers your home, but not for flood. You have to have a separate flood insurance policy because that's a separate, really dangerous type of event. Boca Raton insurance agent Stacy Giulianti tells me many homeowners, especially those who are new to Florida, don't realize this. And he says flood damage is often very pricey. So it's something to consider if you don't have it already. So to spend four or five, maybe $600 a year on premium, 40 or $50 a month, one inch of water is going to cost $25,000 in damage. Seems to me like a no-brainer. In Boca Raton, I'm Jessica Bruno, WPTV News Channel 5.